anytime I was cool with a girl, we friends, nine times out of nine, I end up smashing. So today we talking about the friend zone and how you should really never even get in the friend zone. Like it really doesn't make sense to me. And this topic comes up because I went to this little stand thing with this girl I've been seeing and her friend, like, you know, she was selling stuff at the stand. She invited a dude and she was telling me like this dude got the biggest crush on her. He's been in the friend zone for so long. And I said, he got a chance. She said, no. But I guess this dude's been trying for years. And I'm just, I told her, like, that doesn't make sense to me. But I can't even comprehend being in the friend zone. Because the few girls I've been friends with, stuff ended up happening. She's like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. And it's because people are playing scared. And this is why I tell y'all, like, don't be afraid of judgment. Don't be afraid of taking the L. Because a lot of people, they so afraid of rejection and taking that L, they never make a move. So they just play it safe. Oh, I don't want to ruin our friendship. Like you can't find other friends. A lot of people live in scarcity. Get rid of that type of mindset. Don't be afraid to lose people. Don't be afraid to lose people. And I always heard Marquette say this. Shout out to the Saints. Sometimes you just got to throw that Hail Mary. And that's what I do. Like, I might be messing with a girl. If she seems like she's not trying to function with me at all, I might throw that Hail Mary. Once that Hail Mary is thrown, you know, that Hail Mary, two seconds left on clock, we throwing that Hail Mary down the field like Aaron Rodgers. Once we throw that Hail Mary, once that play is over, the game's over. We either won or we lost. I'm either going to win the game or I'm going to lose the game. Y'all just standing on the sidelines not trying to finish the game. Finish the game. If she's not trying to function with you, throw that Hail Mary. Say something crazy. Yeah, once I heard uh, the Saints say that like probably three years ago, I started putting it, putting it into play. And I done threw that Hail Mary a couple times. She, she seemed like she kind of on the fence about me. I say something crazy. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But you got to throw that Hail Mary. Once you get to that point where you done, you done tried, you just showed your interest, it done been some time, throw that Hail Mary. You got two seconds left and you in the middle of the field, throw that Hail Mary. And sometimes it's going to work. Most time it's not going to work. But at least you're going to get, be done with the game. Because a lot of y'all are too afraid of throwing the Hail Mary that y'all don't, y'all won't even start to play. Y'all ain't even hiking off the ball. Go ahead and finish that game and stop being afraid of people's judgment on how people going to look at you. Finish the game, bro, because a lot of these girls, oh, she's my friend. Y'all be like, oh, she's my friend. We're cool. We've known each other for a long time. A lot of these girls be using dudes, bro. And the guy doesn't value himself, so he'll he'll allow it to happen. He doesn't value his attention. His attention is not worth anything. His time isn't worth anything. So he'll give it away to any random girl. It depends how you look at yourself. And that's why I say it's crazy to me. Like, maybe I got friends on kind of in high school. Not really, but that's it. Like, once I was out of high school, like, no, that, that that's crazy to me. You getting friends on. You really want to be with this girl. But instead of making your intentions clear, you just going to try to be buddy-buddy with the chick. And just hope one day she changes her mind. Like, what? And don't be real close. She's telling you how she gets smashed by other dudes. And you, they're hearing all the stories and stuff. Oh, that's my sister. Man, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> get the fuck out of here, bro. Because I done talked to these girls. And they're like, oh, he's like a brother to me. Oh, we've been friends for how long? Really, this dude wants to get up in them cheeks. And I'm not saying, like, dudes can't be cool with girls. But, like, to be like, oh, he's like a brother to me. Maybe, like, family friends, maybe. But, like... Man, get rid of that bullshit, bro. A lot of that shit be bullshit, bro. Because I done had girls I knew of growing up. You know, girls I knew back in like third grade. We been cool. We used to talk about stocks and crypto together. And that chick, she still wanted to get beat down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, once I seen that, you know, once I seen girls that I've been cool with for a while want to get beat down, I was just like, nah, like, this whole friend thing, that shit not real, bro. Unless it's like a family friend, unless it's like a co-worker that y'all cool. But even then, a lot of times it goes farther. 
But a lot of times she doesn't find you attractive. She's not into you. So you just stay as that friend instead of making your attention clear and saying what you want. That's the way you should live, bro. Stop trying to live quiet. And I'm not telling y'all to be a loud mouth and uh, have to have the lights on you all the time. But don't be afraid to stand out from the crowd. Don't be afraid to say how you really feel. Don't be afraid to shoot that shot and miss. Because it's better to shoot that shot and miss instead of just holding the ball looking like a fool. You, you, you got the ball. It's the game winning point. And you looking around because you're too scared to shoot it. I'd rather take that shot and airball it. Knowing I took that shot. Knowing I done practiced that shot. If it don't sink, it is what it is. This is going to be a different game. <laughs> this is going to be another game in a couple of days. That's, that's how you have to look at it. There's always going to be that next game. But a lot of people get too caught up on this moment. You get too caught up on this one girl and you don't think there's anything else out there. And I, I'll tell you this, like, you know, a lot of these friendships are bullshit because as soon as the dude gets a girlfriend, now that girl feels some type of way. As soon as that girl gets a boyfriend, now you feel some type of way. If y'all just friends, why would you care? You should be happy for that person. You know what I'm saying? So stop trying to be buddy, buddy. Stop trying to play safe, bro. Because you aren't going to get anywhere playing safe, trying to be quiet, not trying to ruffle any feathers. Like if people don't like you, that's perfectly fine. You should have people that hate you and people that love you. That's when you really having something going on for yourself. Like they say, if you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. Yeah, I expect some hate, hate comments in my comment section. But yeah. Because if I wasn't getting hate, I would be concerned. Because I'm not really talking about shit. If I, don't have, if I don't see a couple of hate comments, you ain't really talking for real. You ain't really got going, anything going on. You should have people hating on you. You should fall out with some friends. Because that's just so that you growing. But don't be afraid to shoot your shot. Don't be afraid to throw that Hail Mary. Like Quet said, man, throw that Hail Mary. And sometimes it will sink. Sometimes you'll be Aaron Rodgers and you'll win the game. Most time you're not going to win the game. But it's better to live in that type of way instead of waiting for the clock to run out. Because you don't want to you don't want to miss the shot. You just letting the clock run out. That's a pathetic way to live, bro. And the more attractive you become, the better man you become. Women aren't just going to want to be your friend. They're going to want more or they're going to put you on with their friends. Like, if a girl come across me, she's not going to just want to be friends with me. No, she's going to want to date me or she's going to want to put her friend on with me. Or hell, I done have women, I done have uh, moms come up to me like, oh, I need you for my daughter. I'm going to put you on with my daughter. I done had that happen a couple of times. So when dudes come out here and act like I'm ugly, like I really don't care because my life says otherwise. You know, when I, people say I'm unattractive or, oh, I'm not all that, that's cool. That's cool. But what I've seen in my real life, people treat me very well, <laughs> right? And, and that's why maybe I do have a little ego, which is nothing wrong with it. But I had an ego because how women have treated me. I have that ego because I don't have older women say, oh, boy, you different. I want you for my daughter. Yeah, I don't have that. But it all starts with how you look at yourself, how you carry yourself. And when you carry yourself in the way you should carry yourself, you're not worried about if this girl is not going to mess with you or not. You say, look, this 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 what I wanted. I like you. I want I want to be like this and let it be known. But I'm not letting anybody ride the fence. <laughs> nah, I don't want nobody to ride the fence. I want you on my side or you on the other side. That's for girlfriends. That's for homies. Like, if you cool with a dude and he's wishy-washy, no, nah, that's not my homeboy. No, nah, that's not my homeboy. Because even, even one of my homeboys, bro, he could be completely wrong. And I'm going to ride for him all the way through. Like, the dudes I really grew up with. Yeah, I remember one time. My homeboy. <laughs> We went bowling, and he we made a bet on bowling. I think he bet like 50 bucks. Other dude, my roommate, he took the 50 bucks. Uh, my, my homie took the 50 bucks out of my, my uh, roommate's wallet. And then when it was time to pay up, he paid him with his own money. And I knew it was wrong. You know, you shouldn't be touching nobody's wallet or anything. Like, it was wrong. But just because that, that's my homeboy and I grew up with him, 
I'm gonna ride it all the way out. Even even if that is my roommate, I don't care. That's my homeboy. We locked in. I'm not riding. He could be completely wrong, and I'm still gonna be on his side. And that's what loyalty is. That's what riding for your people is. There's no ride in the fence. No, you on this side or you on that side. And that's that's the way it's got to be for me. You know, you want to be remarkable. You want pe people meet you and they remember you. Not people meet you and they don't even remember you because you were too quiet. You didn't stand out. You didn't have anything special about yourself. You just that dude that's cool to talk to when she gets bored. Don't be that dude. Stand out from the crowd. Now, he ended up get, giving the money back. You know, he, he solved it. He gave the money back. But... Nah, I'm gonna ride for my people every single time. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna ride for my people because I'm not gonna be on the fence. If this is my homie and you say you locked in with your homie, hey, that should be what it is. I don't wanna be half assed with anything. Now let's go all the way or let's not do it at all. You feel me? But that's all I got for y'all today. Make sure to like the video, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch y'all boys in the next one.